All right, I guess my, my timing got stripped when I moved over to Moodle. All right, I want you to read this. What does that say? The cat. The cat. Uh, no, it says C-H-T. Yeah, some people will see the CHT, but most people will say it's the cat. All right, that's our first immediate reaction. But then, okay, well, what is the letter H? Oh, wait. Did I say H? No, no, someone has to interrupt me and say, well, what about the letter A? Because it's a cat, right? But then it would be pi cat. Yeah, then the double would change. It would be pi Hmm. Confusing or clear? That can be confusing. It's uh, I, I saw the THT. Some people saw the THT. So you could interpret it as a mistake. Right? The majority of people actually initially will read it as the cat. That's actually why I usually try to not show you the rest of this yet. Right, so if you only look at, I can't reach up there, if you only look at even just this, it looks like the A is just cut off at the top. So what this is showing us is that our perception is biased by the context. What is the context for seeing something in? Here, the context is we're all familiar with the word the. Here, the context is we're all familiar with the word cat. Does this work with, like, oh, I've seen it posted on the internet where they have words with just numbers and letters, like backwards, and see if you can still read it, so it has to do with this. It has to do with that. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the semester in terms of detail, uh, because that's part of it. It's not all of it. All right. I want you to read this first sentence right here, the one on top. Okay, now the next one. Oh, wait a second. So, how do you pronounce that? Are you sure? It depends on the sentence. But, think about how naturally it came out of your mouth depending on the context. You didn't have to think about it. So, fold napkins, polish silverware, wash dishes. French, French napkins, polish silverware, German dishes. Again, it depends on the context, and we pick up on that really quickly. We're really good at it. I'm going to go to, oops, I'm going to go to the site. Dimples or pimples? What do you see? Dimples. dimples. Right? Most, most people, when they first see it, they see dimples. Come on. What just happened? Oh, wait. Now you see pimples, right? Do you know what actually changed? Shading? The shading, and the, basically the direction of the lighting. So depending on the direction of the lighting, we interpret it differently. Now, we're going to go back to this. And I want you to try to see, without making changing, just making that change, I want you to see the pimples. Yeah, you can do that, right? Basically what's happening is you are changing your perception of things. Why? Because perception is not just visual, it's mental as we've seen with these examples. So you actually will find a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun things like this, a lot of these fun illusions that really play on how our mind works. Um, does it look like descriptions to me, like little pills in those cards? Sorry, I can't hear you. It looks like little um, prescriptions in those little pills in those oh, cards. It does look like the little yeah. pills in the little, you're right. Maybe that's where they got the idea. Yeah, at, the, at this point when I look at it, I, you know, it kind of goes between the pimples and the dimples for me. Okay. 
kind of depends on how I'm thinking or if I'm just going to kind of veg out, it kind of goes back and forth. Then I know I'm relaxed. So you want to remember that the context makes a difference in how we interpret things. And it also can make this difference between different senses. So it's not just sight, it's also sound, touch, those sorts of things. Let me, let me give you a quick, oh, I should have looked for this video, I just thought of it now, when it comes to a, uh, touch. There is a show out there, I can't remember what it's called, where basically, I'm sorry? Yeah, they, they, you have a completely, they make it completely dark, and then you have to do things like touch things and find out what it is. And when they're, when they're uh, vi you know, videotaping it or when they're recording it, they're using, I, I can't remember if it's an infrared camera, basically so that you can see. And they will put the, you know, things in boxes, and they will essentially prime the people. And in order to win this contest, everyone has to go in and put their hand in these things and figure out what it is. The funniest one I saw was the cute, fluffy bunny rabbit. I don't know, I don't know how they primed these people. I'm going to have to look for a video. But, you know, when you think of bunny rabbits, what do you think? Cute and fluffy and soft and harmless. I'm like, aww. How adorable. Well, however they prime these people, remember it's pitch dark. They've already probably touched lots of gross things. They walk up to this, you know, this box that has the bunny rabbit in it. They reach in. They touch, they touch the bunny rabbit. Ah! Start screaming. And it's hilarious for us because we know it's a bunny rabbit. But that's not their perce perception. They're worried about what are they going to have me touch now because they do have you touch pretty gross things too.